My friends, welcome to the inaugural voyage of the American Queen from Memphis, Tennessee. The Great American Steamboat Company has landed and I'm looking at what I call the West Coast. If you're from Memphis, Tennessee, you know there's nothing worth looking at beyond the river. Look at this beautiful view of downtown Memphis, Tennessee, and right over here is Beale Street Landing, the new home for the American Queen. Beale Street, once again, connecting to the river. Hadn't been that way for a century or more. It's like going back in time. You know without Beale Street, there's no Memphis. Without Beale Street, there's no home of the blues. And without Beale Street Landing, there's no home for the American Queen. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see the rest of this boat. Hang with me, my new friends, let's have a look. So many great personalities have made Memphis, Tennessee famous over the years. Whether it's B.B. King, Elvis Presley, coming from Sun or Stax, or some of the greatest chefs in the world. But here on the American Queen, we have five great personalities. Have a look, the Peabody Ducks. Man, I'm sitting here waiting for the next show. I'm in the Grand Saloon, the American Queen, a beautiful old ballroom. Look at this Victorian styling, gold leaf molding all over the place, balcony seating, some great entertainment, not just food and sights outside, but inside too. I've heard that they've booked Paul Revere and the Raiders, Bill Haley's Comets. It's nothing but great world-class entertainment, having a great time all the time when you're on board the American Queen. Hey, come in here and look at the amazing staterooms on the American Queen. Hey, I just walked up to the lunchtime buffet line, lucky enough to meet Mr. Unzay Taylor. Yes, I am. Now, how long have you been a chef? I've been a chef for about 35, 40 years. 35, that's, that's a lot of experience. How would you rate the food that you guys are serving on the American Queen? The food we're doing on the American Queen, I would rate it to be top notch because wow. we take particular care of for everything that we do. We try to make sure that everything is just so. Man, everybody knows it doesn't matter what kind of boat you're on, whether you're on a great big ocean liner out in the open sea or a dinghy splashing around in a puddle down in Mississippi. Cuisine is the name of the game. I'll tell you what, if you want to talk about a great place to fill your face with some amazing Southern cuisine, I'm talking about the American Queen. I've been having a great time today aboard the American Queen. Fascinating boat. This is actually the largest paddle boat ever built. It's over 400 feet long, over 100 feet high. 400 passengers on board, not counting the crew, parked right here at the bottom of Beale Street. I love this. Look at this beautiful view. The Hernando de Soto Bridge in downtown Memphis. And look right over here, the home of the American Queen, Beale Street Landing. great time on board the American Queen, but this has got to be one of the highlights of my entire life. I'm standing here with Priscilla Presley. Priscilla, I just want to say how honored I am to be standing here talking with you. Memphis, Tennessee is built on a lot of fantastic things, and of course, the legend that you're a part of is probably the biggest. And, uh, you know, and I know that you come from another town and you've been in and out of Memphis, but do you consider Memphis a hometown? Well, you know, I do come here often, often maybe four or five times a year, and oh. I, I, it's more my adopted town. You know, oh, obviously yeah. I came here as a, a young girl and lived here for a long time. I live yeah. in L.A. now, but I do come back here a lot. So, yeah, gotcha. it's definitely, you know, I've seen growth here, and it's uh, I have a lot wow. of friends. And well, that's wonderful. Well, when, when you come back home to us, what changes have you seen recently? Like when you come to Memphis, 
What do you see happening in Memphis as you travel all over the world and you see cosmopolitan cities right. regularly? What do you see happening in Memphis right now? Well, for now? me, I think that musically it has really changed. I mean, you've got musicians and artists coming from all over the world. I mean, yeah. that's a big step from when I came here in 1963. First time I came in 62, then I went, lived here in 63. And, and Beale Street was, you know, it was always, you know, cool and, yeah. and you know, had blues and stuck pretty much. It was more small town. Now it's international. It's and the music scene is just great. Wow. I mean, it's uh, you know you can hear it on the streets. Uh, yeah. uh, weekends, it's fabulous. Uh, I stay at the Peabody Hotel here, and uh, yeah. you can hear it echoing. And I don't know, it's just really grown. And, you know, you have entertainers now here, moving here. You know, for the music, it's always been. That's true. Um, it's always been about music. Awesome, awesome. Well, listen. Sitting here on the on the boat, obviously it's a big deal for Memphis to have the Great American Steamboat Company, but it's a big deal for Memphis to have Priscilla coming in four and five times a year, and it's a bigger deal for me, Memphis Jones. Thank you so much for your time, well, thank you. Ms. Priscilla. What a wonderful time. Hey, ain't nothing impossible in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Man, what an amazing day I've had exploring the American Queen. You know, the legacy of Memphis, Tennessee as a river town couldn't be exemplified better than a new steamboat showing up and making a home right here at Beale Street Landing where the city meets the river. Listen, if you've got a trip to Memphis planned, man, explore the American Queen. Explore the city, leave no stone unturned. I'm telling you, there's a million and a half things to do and I want to do them all with you. Come on, hang with me. <laughs>